Go to Tsushima is an amazing experience, and after I finish completing the main story, there's only one thing left to do. Get the Platinum Trophy. When I was doing the main campaign, these are all the trophies I unlocked. There's a few non-story related trophies in there, and they're not really big ones that I have to cover in like their own little clip, so you know. That's all of them I got. And now the big grind begins, where I'm gonna start doing all of these bonus tales, side missions, into like these mythical tales. So yeah. It's gonna be a big grind. While going through all the tales, you can actually earn a lot of trophies. So here's one for killing 20 people in Ghost Dance. I then got a trophy for killing 5 people in a standoff. I got a trophy from collecting an item from a Pillar of Honor. And then after counter attacking 20 people, you'll get another trophy. I finally completed all the Musco tales, giving me the Vengeful Warrior trophy. And at the same time, I got the Slay trophy. I got a trophy for pushing someone off a cliff, and uh, here's my live reaction. Yes! Please! Yes! I don't really know why I was that excited. I then completed the Ishikawa and Norio Tales. And finally, completing the Yuna Tales. Guys, I, uh, I messed up. So, um... I thought I had done all the tales of Tashima because there were none popping up. I found out that there's mis like secret ones that don't pop up. Apparently there's 61 of these things and I've only done about 50 because apparently there's some that uh, you actually have to go around and look for which can be any of these question marks except they can also be fox dens, the uh, hot springs, you know, all the other collectibles. The way you unlock stuff in this game is you have to liberate the islands, well, the three different areas. You have to do that by either doing uh, uh, bases, uh, camps, or these homesteads here. Liberate all of the map first, so then I can just go to all these question marks and it'll be easier. After realizing how the game actually works, because I'm stupid, I continued doing the mythical tales to get the trophy for completing all of them. I then bought something from the black and white dye merchants. There it is. And then used my flute to honor this dead person. And then got a trophy for liberating 12 parts of the first area. And then I got 20 Mongol artifacts. I then annihilated this boss. Which led me to completing every jewel in the game. Then I liberated the whole of Area 1, liberated 8 parts of Area 2, which then gave me enough resources to fully upgrade my katana. I finished liberating all of the second area, and then liberated 7 areas in the third area. Hey, that's another trophy. And then I fully upgraded my legend. And then I fully liberated Tsushima Island. I had now fully liberated the full of Tsushima Island, and now I just had to go to basically every question mark and complete all the collectibles, and that would basically grant me the Platinum Trophy. I then unlocked the final charm slot, allowing me to get a trophy. I then lit the last fire in the lighthouse that I needed. I then had to put on a certain outfit to grant myself another trophy. There's the trophy! Let's go! I then honored my final Shinto shrine. And after countless bamboo strikes, fox dens, and hot tubs, I finally got the trophy for completing them all. There it is! There it is! Let's go! If you put on a certain outfit, you can actually allow the wind to guide you to certain objects you haven't found yet. And after using this trick, I was able to find the last record I needed to get a trophy. And finally, after a long and tedious grind, I had completed all the tales of Tashima. Oh my god, I finally got the trophy. And finally, after paying respect to Taka's grave, I got the final bronze trophy, no. and then the ghost of Tashima, Platinum Trophy.